Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is Central Limit Theorem. And here, guys, no calculations here, but this is a very important topic. Uh, sometimes we go, okay, we are using this Central Limit Theorem, and let's move on. But what is this Central Limit Theorem? If the sample, let me put myself smaller here, better. If the sample size is large enough, then the sampling distribution of the mean is approximately normally distributed, regardless of the distribution of the population. So it doesn't matter what the what the what is the distribution of the population. If our sample is large, we consider it we consider this sample as normal and then has a mean equal to the population mean. And if the population is normally distributed, then the sampling distribution is also normally distribution, distributed for any sample size. So if the population is not normally distributed and our sample size is large, so Okay, let's consider the sample as normal. If the population is already normal, it doesn't matter the size of the sample, the sample is also normal. Normal. So the central limit theorem allows us to use the theory we learned about calculating probabilities for normal distribution. And by the way, our normal distribution video uh, are on our video description. There are two, one for Excel and one for Tableau to draw conclusions about the sample means. And the key to applying sampling distribution of the mean correctly is to understand whether the probability that you wish to compute related to a, an individual observation or the mean of a sample. If it relates to the mean of a sample, so we are working with the mean of the sample, not only one uh, individual observation, then you must use the sampling distribution of the mean, whose standard deviation is the standard error, not the standard deviation of the population. Standard deviation is the uh, square root of variance. Here, the standard distribution is the mean divided by this, the square root of the observations. Uh, and here, the central limit theorem, or CFT, states that the sum or the average of a large number of independent observations from the same underlying distribution has an approximate normal distribution, only to summarize it. And the approximation steadily improves as the number of observations increases. So the more observation we have, the better it will be. And why? because of the error, because of the, our standard deviation. The greater the denominator is, the lower will be our standard error or our standard deviation. So that is why the larger the size, the better. And we talk here about large enough. How much is large enough? There is no consensus here. There is no math formula for it, but Fractionaries often use the normal distribution approximation when the number of, of observation is at least 30. So 30 or more than 30. If it is lower than 30, then you cannot use the central limit theorem. More than 30 or 30 or more than 30, you are good to go. Okay, guys, so that's it. Short video here, no calculations. And thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping.gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.